Caller on the line, can you hear me please? Your name and where you're calling us from? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Your women morning, have now taken sir. over. Good morning to you, please. Your name and where yes, you're coming sir. from? My name is uh, Faith Ogala Adobe Biafra Queen. I'm an Agbo speaking uh, Biafra. Thank you. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, I know you said last week who called last week should who call this week. Yes. But I have uh, something important to say. Go ahead. Uh, great one. Please, Thank man. you so much. Yes. Um, I'm calling from Italy and uh, Genova to be precisely. Mm -hmm. uh, DK, there are some kind of things I would like uh, I would like you to to look into because there are some kind of people in Anioma, Anioma where I come from. Mm -hmm. They are uh, they are um, uh, constituting news as like kind of calling Anioma people to divide attention <laughs> from Biafra. Yes. They don't want people to follow up Biafra anymore or talk about IPOB because Oh, um, Madike, as you can see, like I always said in my broadcast, that I laid down my life to restore my country. 50% alive, 50% uh, in the other world. Mm -hmm. And why this 50% are with me? Because I want to use this 50% for restoration of Biafra and also to take care of my kids because I have two kids mm -hmm. who is so tender. Yes. They are still living. Now, that's why I keep this 50%. So anything that w that has to do with Biafra restoration, I will go to any length. And I will, that is, I will do anything for Biafra restoration. So this thing is disturbing me too much since I had this thing and since I know. Even they blocked me in, 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 uh, in, uh, in the group that I was. Even the new one that they create for people not to talk about Biafra there or for people not to talk about IPOP there. When they know that the way I'm so stubborn and all that, they blocked me from that place. I know I don't want to review who blocked me on air because the person that blocks me know the himself. So so what they are doing now that anybody in anybody and Yoma or Agbo, any a car speaking person that is in IPOB, they are calling these people to divide attention and to tell to tell the people because you know, as a black people, we are gullible, we are blacks, and you know, we don't have that sense of, of reason. So people when they hear as a leader, they hear some kind of things or also kind of uh, uh, thing like some one of their called me and told me that you build an, a, a house in some in Africa there like kind of, like 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 kind of I shouldn't criticize the pig I shouldn't criti criticize that the man that is leading me is he owns he owns an apartment that you you build a house in one of Africa <laughs> then, I, then I told him I said if you build a house like what I respond to that person mm -hmm. I said if you build a house there is nothing bad in it because the last time I checked you don't have a home in contraction called Nigeria because because they come to kill you and destroy your home. So if you, and you can't even go for now, because if now, and if you want to feel like Africa or anything, you want to feel, uh, you know, Africa, because when we live in another man country, sometimes we feel like going to Africa. It's not like me now that rejected country to go now, like on, call Nigeria. And let, we totally let, reject my, my dear sister, because others are waiting also, I want you to yes, listen. Sir. Listen, so, listen very so carefully. No, don't that. worry. No, I but don't worry. Listen. Listen, please don't worry. Listen, listen to me. Let me respond yes, to what sir. you just said. Do you know the actress? I have another you, I'm, I'm coming. We'll get to that in a minute. Yes, sir. Do you yes, know sir. the actress? I want to deal with the Anioma issue and people trying to deceive themselves. Do you know the, mm -hmm. uh, the actress called um, Stella Damasos? Or Damascus? Yes. Do you know Damascus, her real name? Sir. Do you know her real name? No, no. Do you think Damascus or Damasos is her name? Or is it Damascus? No, name? yes, I think so because that was what I know when I was, you know, okay. I know the name. When I know her up. name like that. Hmm. Yes. Her son name is Ojupu. Her name is Stella Ojupu, not Damascus. My God. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So that's number one. So there is nothing like her name. Her name is a name as you have, um, as you have, um, uh, maybe Jekebe or Wawa, but there is Igbo. Mm. Uh, do you know? Do you know? Why they changed their name to Damasus was during the war. They didn't want to be killed. 
when the Fulanese were coming in, the Janjaweed, the second army led by Motala Mohammed was sweeping through the whole place and killing people. They asked them, what is the name? They said their name is Damasus. It's not a Jupu because they felt they would be killed. Are you aware of that? Hey. Oh my God. Now, no, sir. I'm coming again. Let me tell you why these people fathered by the Janja would do what they're doing. Do you know a musician called Bongos Ikwe? Do you know Bongos Ikwe? Have you heard of that name before? I don't know how young you are, but I used to listen to his music. Do you know a man called Bongos Ikwe? Mm -hmm. No, maybe when I see, listen go, to the music, I will go and the name I can't, He was I can't. a very big, big, very, very big um, musician, Bongos Ikwe. Do you know Babangida's wife called Miriam Babangida? Yes, that I is know. Now late. I know. Do you know yes, her real I name? Know. Do you know her real name? No, no. Her real name is Ndidi. Her real name is what? Ndidi. Ndidi. My God. Ndidi right. is from my place also. Good. I'm, I'm coming. I'm, I, I want to let people understand what they don't know today. My Ndidi God. is her Ndidi. name. Do you know how she became Babangida's wife? No, sir. I don't know. She no. was a trophy of war. She was captured, not captured. Babangida took Ndidi away from Bongo's Ikwe. Bongo's Ikwe is the real husband that paid her bad price and married her. Mm -hmm. Babangida took Ndidi by force and married her by force. Are you listening to me yeah. very carefully? It, I heard this, yes, yes, I remember. It's true, Radio Biafra, yeah. I know all good, this. Good, good. As, as a booty of war. Mm, mm. Good, good. Now, when the Fulanese were sweeping through Anyoma and killing people as a result of the war, mm. most of them turned into cowards, lily livered cowards. People like, you see, Loretta or not here, the sex trafficker. That sex, tra yes. that human trafficker. She used to move prostitutes mm. from uh, from from the zoo to to mm. Italy. That was her job mm -hmm. before she mm. she got the, she got her new position with the with the zoo presidents. Mm. So people like that, their brain their brain became reformatted to see mm. Fulani as their all and all as people they're going to serve. Let me also tell you one thing. I now know the reason why some of us serve the Fulani and are fo as foolish as we are. You know that the Fulani sleep with their cow before they sell them to us. Are you aware of that? Announcing them, announcing it to, to the zoo that they should boycott uh, Fulani. Exactly. Cow. Fulani, Fulani, Fulani yeah. dominates and kill. They have sex. A man will ejaculate into. An animal and that cow is sold to Igbo people, they cut it up and they eat it. Oh my god, now there is one that even gave birth to half human being, half of, of, of course, uh, of course, uh, yes, of course. That is what is happening that our people do not know. That is the stranglehold the Fulani is have over some of them. So when you see a Sabotu, a bit from a Neoma, be it from anywhere, a Sabo will always one is either fathered by a Fulani man. Now imagine, now listen, imagine that Babangida had just called um, um, Ndidi to the uh, officer's mess, slept with her, impregnated her, and sent her back to Bongo Sikwe. She will give birth mm. to a child for Bongo Sikwe, not knowing it is Babangida's baby. Mm. Do you understand? That, is, that was how some of these idiots were born in our land. Okay. And that is okay. how you know a Sabotua, that is how you know them. They are either fathered by the Fulani or their family worked for them and will mm. continue to work for them or out of cowardice during the war. They renounced Biafra. They say, oh, Biafra or Yuda or, or Nigeria. Choose one. Once you say Biafra, they shoot okay. you dead. So, they so are... let me quickly say, use Go this uh, platform to... Let me quickly use this platform to send a message to all my Agbo people, my Ika people. Please, I want you people to understand anybody that called you and start telling you lies and all that, that you came in today, you just came in to join IPOB, you don't know what is on that IPOB, please hang up the phone on them because they are traitors and they want to divide your attention from the real truth and the, because the only way 
way is IPOB. The only way is Mazi Namdikanu. The only savior we got. Please do not miss out because if you miss out, you will live to regret this. Please, oh, Madika, another thing again. I would love to uh, talk to you private if you can call me after your broadcast and anytime you have a chance, just call me, please, oh, Madika, because I have... Once this program ends, because I, I have about over nearly 6,000 um, calls, uh, missed calls here. Yes. So just send me a message and I will call you okay. back immediately. Thank you okay. very, very much for that, my dear sister. Thank you very much. I have a caller on the line. I've picked your call. Stay where you are, please. The caller on the line, I've picked your call. Please stay where you are. I'll come back to you in a minute. That's something that I want to address. I only have one house in my name in England that I bought in the year 2001. It is there in the land registry. I bought it in 2001. I won't give you the address. But anybody who knows the land registry in the UK can go there to have a look. That is the only house that I have in my name, anywhere in the whole world. In the whole world, that's the only place I have my name. I stay in my father's house in the village because I have more than enough accommodation. I am not a gluten. I don't suffer from avarice. I don't suffer from... What can I call it? Um, insatiable accumulation of wealth. It has one bedroom. And that bed on it can take me and my wife who can sleep comfortably on it. My children have their own rooms. So I have no need for a property anywhere. And I will never... You see, these are the lies because they know that your minds, you people are so flimsy. You can be convinced very easily. That is why they keep churning out all this rubbish. Ask them to go and pro produce or provide the deed of anywhere they claim that I own a property anywhere in the world. You see, it's a lie. It's because they know that we are paying our consultants huge amount of money. So they're thinking, hey, he wants to buy. you know, a zoo, an animal in the zoo, once your budget is a million naira every year, and you are the controller of that budget, the money doesn't belong to you, you think you're entitled to about 800,000 of it, so that is why, or that is how they think that I am. I am not that way and can never be. People give me money and I put it into IPOB. They do. Privately, they do. They say, support yourself with this, and I put it into IPOB. They say, oh, which I, I think that if I ask people now, people that come to me and say, which account should we pay money into? I want this money to come to you. I give them the German account number, or the one we have in the US, to pay it in there. Because I have no need for money. My reward comes when Biafra comes. When Biafra comes, I'm sure that um, uh, Biafrans will build a place for me to live in, if they want to. But my father's house is there. That is upstairs. So what am I looking for again? What else do I need? All I want is Biafra. So all this stupid side talk is just garbage. Garbage. Utter nonsense. They know that the mind of a black man is so tiny, so small. They won't tell you about your governors and your ministers looting billions. They won't tell you about that lady called Sadia that told you he fed all of you with 850 billion. No, all their houses in Dubai, their hospitals, those that stole money that was meant for Iwacha Inuku Expressway, they will not go after them. Isn't Nam the Khan who's a politician? I don't control any office, but of course we respect it. We are very popular and they're very jealous and they can never be like us. How can they be? And the more they yap and gossip about us, the more the world knows about us. Nobody knows them. It is us that they know. So you shouldn't be unduly worried. But here we preach the truth. And that truth we are going to continue preaching.